And I want to be very clear that we have not confirmed it, but Dave Portnoy just tweeted uh, saying the following, it turns out Robinhood is the biggest frauds of them all, democratizing finance for all except when we manipulate the market because too many ordinary people are getting rich. Um, do you know anything about this? And welcome back to the Rock Cloud channel. And I just want to start off by saying what has happened here in the U.S. market today was a complete disgrace with these brokerage firms cutting off the American people from accessing their own stocks, their own accounts, and for trading the stocks and companies that they want access to. Okay, it's not up to Robin Hood to tell us what stocks that we are going to trade and or want in our portfolio. We will make that decision for ourselves. Thank you, Robin Hood. From this point forward, I'm yanking the Robin Hood link out of my description below. And for now on, you guys can check it out. I got Webull. Just mention it now really quick. If you guys set up an account with Webull following my link, you will get four free stocks. Two stocks immediately just for setting up the account. You don't have to link any accounts. You just need to set up your account, sign up. They'll give you two free stocks. After you sign up and make a trade and that first trade settles, you get two more free stocks. You get four stocks in total. You're going to get two right now by following the link down below in the description or tagging it right here. Bit.ly forward slash rock cloud joins Webull. Get at least two free stocks right now. Let's go. I pulled the link for Robinhood in my description. Okay, we're going to look at Webull. And I don't know if they're part of this whole realm either, but I'm going to look into it deeper to see if there were any issues there as well. But this morning we had problems. We could not trade, okay, our stocks that we were looking to purchase. Okay, Robinhood restricted our access and Robinhood is on their side, okay. Here is the definition of Robinhood. A personal group likened to heroic outlaw especially. One that robs the rich and gives to the poor. This is not Robin Hood. The entire market got flustered because, because other people were making money uh, uh, other than the rich of the rich of the rich. I mean, come on, you guys got to stop it now. This is ridiculous, okay? And Portnoy has it right. We got him on our side, and he's, and he's our voice right now, okay? Robin Hood is going to be shut down. That's how it's going down. Portnoy started it, okay? Everyone's going to pull their accounts and move their money out to other brokerage firms, I also had issues with TD Ameritrade, but I just think that was because of volume and heavy action trading. The app locked on me. I was able to get in through my web browser and sign in from there to make my trades accordingly. Okay, but Robinhood app was down. Then you were, after that did happen, after they delisted all these high volume stocks, you were able to log into Robinhood.com directly. Okay, and then once people started doing that, they probably noticed, oops, there's the back door. Robinhood also cut off access to Robinhood.com to log in to your own account. Draw some attention here on this page. There's a petition right now to sue Robinhood. Okay, if you are also involved or had issues with the trading sessions all day today and or this morning, if you had problems and the trading platform was down, Okay, and you couldn't trade the companies that you had wanted to trade and or purchase, etc. Okay, you could sign this petition. This petition currently has just under 25,000 people signed and they're trying to get to 35,000 and that's just a rough estimate. Okay, they'll take a million if there's a million available. Okay, um, so from here you just fill out your first name, your last name, your email address and basically just say sign petition, you send it in. Okay. They are supporting the movement to take down Robinhood. And you can see here, the last couple of days have been insane days in the markets. Okay, billions lost and billions gained. Okay, but they're playing dirty, pulling out the cards from under the table. Exactly what they're doing. Okay, on January 28th, Robinhood has suspended trading. GME, GameStop, NOK, Nokia, AMC, AMC Theaters, in addition to NAKD, okay, and there were, I'm sure there were other ones, but okay, this must be illegal, has to be illegal, okay, and I'm sure they got paid to do that, okay, this game should be fair and we need justice and I agree.
And I'm sure everybody's aware by now, okay, that this all started with the stock GameStop, GME, right? It's basically a group of people getting together, looking at this bankrupt stock that has a high short volume on it, buying into the company and buying the stock, but like thousands of people doing it. And they're driving the price of the stock up and up and up. With that said, the hedge funds that are shorting the stock, now they have to cover themselves to make sure they don't lose money, okay? Because as the stock goes up, they're going to lose money. So they need to cover. So when they cover themselves, it, drops, it drives the stock even higher. That's what was going on, okay? And that's how it all started with GameStop, okay? GameStop was the first stock that this started with, okay? Squeezing out the shorts, driving the price of the stock to the moon, and wreaking profits, GameStop today hit a high of 482.85 at the market open. Okay, this stock was still accessible as soon as the market opened and, and, and pre-market. Okay, okay, this stock, GameStop, hit a high of 482.85 today. Okay, pre-market was insane today. Okay, they were getting, a, they were trying to get a target of one thousand dollars on GameStop. They were trying to target one thousand dollars as the target on GameStop. This is why I stress to you guys a lot that you need to have more than one trading platform. Okay, Robinhood was good as like a backup solution, but your primary really should be like TD Ameritrade, for example, right? Robinhood is a backup secondary. Okay, now Robinhood gets the X. Okay, Robinhood's going away, but you'll need a TD Ameritrade account. You'll be able to purchase OTC stocks, pink sheets if you need to, but you will also now have an account set up with WeBill, get you two free stocks. Let's go. Look at Mark Cuban's reaction to this news. When Robinhood blocked access to our own account portfolio to buy stocks. And for those of you who do not know, okay, this is where it all began, okay, in this group on Reddit, Wall Street Bets, okay, they decided let's take, let's take this company, has a high short volume, and if we all buy into this stock together, almost simultaneously, and keep doing it over the next week, we are going to take this price to the moon, and they did it, and it was working. They were going to get this to $1,000, okay? And here's Charles V. Payne tweeting out a pro tip. Don't call yourself Robin Hood if you're going to turn your back on the folk, okay? The list goes on and on. This is beyond absurd. Tyler Winklevoss, Gemini, okay? Crypto exchange, Gemini. Robin Hood was never what it was pretended to be. It built its businesses on selling Wall Street bets order flow to the hedge fund Citadel. In the moment of truth, we learned which customer it cares about most. <laughs> okay, there are going to be many class action lawsuits against Robinhood, and we all know it. They did not only stop trading on GameStop, okay? They stopped trading on all of these stocks right here, okay? Express, EXPR, okay? This stock was also going to the moon. Okay, they stopped trading on Naked, N-A-K-D, okay, if you were part of my live yesterday, you saw this run, okay, basically from 55 cents up over $3, okay, this morning, okay, and to pull back down, it's holding, it's still holding above 150, okay, it's still up high, but that's not the point here, they delisted trading from this little penny stock, AMC, delisted. K-O-S-S, Cost -S, Audio, delisted. This stock specifically hit a real high. Cost hit a high of 127.45 today. Yesterday's was a $10 stock, by the way. Okay, Nokia. Okay, came down from its highs as well. Okay, back down to 479, and that's even a little bit high for Nokia, which is normally trading between 4 and 450 on a normal average day, by the way. Here's the Twitter page of Wall Street Bets. Okay, just interesting, right? How it all started like this and it became a really big thing and everybody bought into it. But don't think that this will be the last time. This will happen again. Okay, this move is so big right now that people are requesting to have Robinhood app removed from the app stores. Okay, I'm also going to drop this down below for you guys. Remove Robinhood from the app stores. Okay, 5,000 people have signed this petition, and same thing, okay? First name, last name, click sign up, 
Okay, it's clear that Robin Hood doesn't want individuals to make their own decisions, but large institutions like hedge funds can do as they please. Okay, maybe Mark Cuban has it right. Maybe he's onto something. Okay, he's thinking that maybe economically, financially, Robin Hood can't sustain paying out the high profits that are being exited out of the stock. Could it be? Portnoy, one hour ago. Dave Portnoy rages over block stocks. I'll burn Robin Hood at to the ground. Robin Hood is not going to recover from this, and you guys will see. Boston Sports, Dave Portnoy blasted Robin Hood for restricting trading on GameStop, AMC, and other stocks, saying he will burn the stock trading app to the ground. And he probably could, he probably will. Okay, join Weeble. The link is down below in the description. Four free stocks. Let's get it. Very well said again. Okay, Robin Hood app is saying that they are protecting their users from over leveraging and getting burned. Okay, but somehow it's okay when hedge funds do the same exact thing. Exactly. Of course it's okay. It was also not a good idea to pull a stunt like this on the average user when they are trying to file for an IPO of their company. For those of you who are curious, and I don't know if anybody is and or cares, I really don't do anything here. I do have a Twitter account. If you guys want to check it out, follow me. That will be cool. Murr from the Impractical Jokers follows me here. John McAfee also follows me here. Okay, I only have a couple of followers. If you guys get into it, if I could get some subscribers going here, maybe I'll spin some things here on my feed. But I normally don't because I don't have any activity here. Okay, rock cloud underscore. That's my tag. You know, then it's times like this, right? When you really think about the market and how the and how these banks are controlled and they can control the movement of average people, then you look at cryptocurrency and say, hmm, maybe this is the better play. Maybe this is the next place we should be looking to trade and, and store our money as value, right? Because look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized, okay? It's up 6%, okay? Maybe people who sold out of GameStop started moving their funds into Bitcoin, Okay, that could be because we are green today, even though it has lower dominance. I don't know what more I could add of value to this video. Okay, today has been a complete turmoil. There will be many lawsuits for Robin Hood moving forward, as we could all see. Okay, don't forget, though, follow my link. Okay, you will need a new trading platform. Bit.live forward slash Rock Cloud joins Webull. Link down below in the description as well. Four free stocks, two right now just for joining, just for signing up, two free stocks. Let's get it. Get rich or die trying with Rock Cloud. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you have not done so already. I'm out.